good morning students hope you are doing well this is vinita singh and today we will be doing the revision of your chapter naming and organizing files in the last lecture we have already discussed about the files and why it is necessary to have an extension and how it can be helpful to us so do you know it is very important to know the location of your file where you have placed it where you have kept it so let us study about what is a folder if you put thousands of paper files on someone's desk it would be virtually impossible to find any particular one when you needed it that's why people often store paper files in folders inside a filing cabinet arranging files in logical group makes it easy to locate any particular file in computers folders allow us to keep related file together it allow us to organize related document or files together folders make it easy to locate important files quickly on your computer that means you can arrange your files on the computer at various location whichever you wish for and then making it easy to find the important files quickly now let us learn about folders and parent folder a folder located within an another folder is called a subfolder the main folder is called the parent folder that means if you are placing one folder inside the other folder so the main folder will be known as the parent folder and the one which you have kept inside the parent folder that will be known as the subfolder folders and subfolders help us to keep our files more organized for example you have made some presentation on it so basically related to that you have to make some contents you will be needing some pictures so for that you need to store all of them at one place for that you will be needing the folders too so if you will follow the structure it can be easy to find let us learn about directory structure the arrangement of folders into the parent and subfolder is called a directory structure that means the way you are arranging your parent folder and subfolder that arrangement is known as the directory structure arranging folder one inside another is useful to group files systematically so that means if you are keeping your all the files and folder related to a certain thing at one place that will be more easy to be finding out and it can be stored in a systematic way too to move the file into the folder you can use the drag and drop method you just have to click on the particular file which you want to move into the folder just do the right click and drag it and place it to the new location whichever you want to i hope you have already learned more about it in this chapter so go through the chapter once do a quick revision of it till then stay safe and have a great day